Hello and welcome to the Dave Verdan Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Head Cross Country Coach Dave Verdan. Coach, uh, since we've chatted, uh, you guys have had a couple of uh, pretty big meets. Um, first, uh, the meet at Salisbury at the end of September, uh, you guys did pretty well. Just kind of talk about how everything went uh, on your trip to the Eastern Shore. Yeah, so I mean that meet went really well on both sides. Yeah. Um, we knew it was a, a really fast course yeah. and it was the first time that I really told everyone that they could really run hard from, yeah. the, from the beginning. And it went really well. I mean, Langston won his third meet of the year, yeah. and the men's team came out with the, the team win. Yeah. And um, the woman ran really well. Um, Kelly Winklebauer ran her first race, which was really promising for the yeah. woman. And um, Michaela Sabo, the freshman, she continues to kind of impress yeah. on yeah, that yeah, she's certainly been very impressive uh, in her first season of uh, cross country at, at any level. Yeah, yep. So yeah, she never ran cross country before, so it's exciting. I mean, every every race is a learning experience for her, and she's learning a lot every time she's out there. Yeah. Uh, then the following week, um, the women had the opportunity to go down to uh, Orlando to go to, the, to run the Disney race, and um, said the weather was a little a little different than what you've experienced <laughs> up here. A little hot, a little humid, even at. Uh, first thing in the morning, but um, overall, it sounded like you were pretty pleased with how that meet went as well. Yeah, they, they finished seventh out of 21 schools, I believe, yeah. and they were everybody ahead of them was, I think, D, Division Two or Division One. so right. it, was, it was a good showing. And um, again, Michaela ran well, and yeah. Kelly got to run a little bit harder, and um, we just have a really solid um, top five on the women's side. Yeah. And um, I mean, it was it was a great experience for them. Really, yeah. really great kind of team bonding. Yeah, they got to go to Magic Kingdom on Sunday yeah. and, and got to really enjoy the experience. Yeah, get to enjoy some time together outside of outside of practice and outside of competition. Exactly, they, they had a lot of fun. Yeah, um, and certainly then that last week the men went up to um, Rowan, big um, in a regional battle. Um, we finished ninth. Um, just talk about kind of you know what your expectations were and kind of how you finished that day. Yeah, so that was, for, on the men's side, one of the bigger meets of the year for yeah. them. Um, there were, I think, six or seven nationally ranked teams yeah. in that race, and it was a big opportunity for them to go and kind of beat some of those teams yeah. and help maybe later with a possible at-large bid to right. nationals. Um, I mean, we didn't finish as high up as we would have liked, but I still think it was a really good kind of overall race. Yeah. Um, it was really muddy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, they, I mean, they had to stutter step around turns so they didn't fall. Right. Um, so the more impressive part out of all that is that, I mean, Langston was pretty much in the lead at three miles, and yeah. he's up there with a couple of nat national champions or potential national right. champions. So I think it bodes really well um, for him and the team yeah. later later in the season. Yeah, it certainly gives both Langston and the team kind of a chance to gauge where they are as we head into, you know, the biggest meets of the year. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Um, Coming up, um, obviously the conference championship, kind of what you've been working for, um, you know, since the middle of August. Um, get to run it in your home course. Uh, I'm sure the kids are excited about that. And um, just talk about the opportunity to host that and the opportunity to run our course. Obviously, you guys know very well. Yeah, so I mean, it's just, it's really exciting just to be able to host it at home. But um, the other exciting part is my first recruiting class are seniors right. this year. So to kind of end their collegiate career on their home course with the possibility of winning, yeah. um, it's really, really exciting. So, I mean, Again, I think I've said this before, ever since last year when they got second place by 10 points, like that day they've been talking about winning yeah. the following year. Right. So um, it's definitely been on their mind. And again, I mean, they have to do everything to, to get to that point. Right. But um, I mean, every, I feel like everything's been going well. Yeah. Um, they're, all, they're all all in. I mean, yeah. sleep, diet, training. I mean, they've all kind of gotten together and created their own little pact about what they're going to do to run well later. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's certainly exciting. Um, you know, certainly if everybody has a chance to come out, uh, that's Saturday, October 27th. Uh, women's race at 11, men's race at 12, right? Yep, and the women too. I mean, I, I really think they're going to surprise some people yeah. because um, we've had some people really step up in practice. Yeah. Um, Emily Gates has been looking really good as well. So between Emily, Kelly, uh, Michaela, and then Achol and CJ, we yeah. have a really, really solid top certainly, five. Yeah, certainly got a solid core there that, yeah. um, you know, if they go out and run the race, you know, they can, they can certainly finish, you know, up towards the top. Definitely. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck um, next week at the conference meet, and um, I'm sure we'll try to chat at least a little bit after that. And, um, you know, best of luck, and then best of luck in the regional. Thank you. All right, for Dave Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Dan Show.